Top 5 Facts Why People Love Stephen Adams The 611 New Zealand rebounding machine had an immediate and significant impact on the NBA. He was with the Oklahoma City Thunder before being sent to the Pelicans and then a year later to the Memphis Grizzlies. Adams may have moved around a lot, but he's still a superb big man who's a positive influence on his team and has a long list of NBA records to his name. However, there are many other reasons why his fans adore him. He has spent a good chunk of his NBA career with the Oklahoma City Thunder. Adams was the 12th overall pick by the Thunder in the 2013 NBA Draft. For seven years in a row, he was the Thunder's starting center. It plays in the Northwest Division of the Western Conference of the NBA. Adam compares Oklahoma to his native New Zealand. He was the NBL's Rookie of the Year in 2011, and the Saints went on to win the title with his assistance. For the Saints, he played in 15 games, averaging 5.5 points, 4 rebounds per match. To maintain his collegiate eligibility, he played basketball with the National Basketball League's Wellington Saints without being compensated. Number 1. Steven Adams loves comics and anime. Two of Adams' favorite things are comic books and Japanese animation. He was too busy watching anime to notice that the 2017 NBA season kicked off with a game that didn't involve the Thunder. Steve Adams has set his priorities straight and there is no compromising on them and we could say watching his favorite anime is more interesting to him than seeing the playoffs. During an interview, he clearly said that he didn't watch the match between the Spurs and the Warriors in 2017. Instead, he was watching One Piece. Not only that, but NBA star also had his comic, The Kiwi Legend, comic series that's based on him. Number 2. Steven Adams is famous for his generosity. During the 2017-18 NBA season, Oklahoma City and Adams began their business relationship under the terms of a contract that was worth a total of $100 million over four years. That resulted in a seven-fold increase in his annual compensation of $22.5 million. What's more, Forbes placed the NBA superstar Steven Adams' net worth at $27.2 million in 2019. Steven Adams signed a two-year $35 million deal with the Memphis Grizzlies. The deal is guaranteed to pay him $35 million and he'll make an average of $17,500,000 per year. His base salary in 2021-2022 will be $17,073,171. As of the year 2022, Steven Adams is said to have a net worth of $35 million. Kind and generous Steven thinks it's best to start a philanthropy at home. As a way to give back to the people of New Zealand, he organizes a host of free basketball camps. Adams has also established the Sports Pathways Trust for the benefit of charitable organizations in New Zealand. Furthermore, this charity offers young people educational opportunities and venues where they can build upon the basketball legacies of those who came before them. He also teamed up with New Zealand's Miss Taranga to reintroduce basketball to the country's sick children. A basketball legend also gives back to his alma mater by funding scholarships to spread holiday cheer. Stephen frequently dressed up as a big Santa Claus and distributed gifts to underprivileged kids in the weeks leading up to Christmas. They then took the kids on an American shopping spree, footing all the expenditures themselves. The humanitarian player who also took part in the Grandparents Raising Grandchildren initiative while also playing for the Thunder. Number 3. Stephen Adams' Family and Culture He considers himself primarily to be of Maori descent. Even though he is half Tongan, his Tongan mom is a native Hawaiian and his English dad is a native Londoner. Maori culture refers to the traditional ways of life, art, and worldview of New Zealand's indigenous Maori population. There's a long line of athletes in his family tree. Many prominent sports figures in his family have also found professional success. The Adams family currently resides in New Zealand together with Stephen Val Adams Valerie. Dame Valerie Adam is the half-sister of former NBA player Stephen Adam and New Zealand native and former shot putter Valerie Casanita Adam. Born October 6, 1984, began her athletic career as a basketball player before making the transition to the shot put. She, the legendary shot putter, has participated in the Olympics three times, won two gold medals, one silver, 
and won the World Athletic title four times. Lisa Adams, the older siblings of Stephen Adams, was born November 18, 1990. At the age of 32 in Rotorua, New Zealand, Lisa has competed in the Paralympics in both the F-37 shot put and the F-38 discus discus events. Adams competed and won the gold medal in the women's shot put at the 2020 Tokyo Summer Paralympics. Number 4. Everyone likes him, and he likes them. His teammates think of him as very highly as well. As John ja Moran put it, I feel like this is what makes him so valuable for us. He's not afraid to go up against the best players in the league. We appreciate him very much because he is a crucial part of our team. Even before he came here, we were all fans of Steve, Jackson added. Now that he's here, instead of across the veil, it's much simpler to adore him. He avoids clashes and prevents injuries by catching falling opponents. His charming air of indifference makes him one of the NBA's most entertaining interview subjects. Plus, since he replaced the prehistoric figure we know as Perkins' Kendrickus as the starting center for the Oklahoma City Thunder, the franchise has become one of the league's most successful. While his scoring average per 36 minutes dropped in 2020, he thrived in his new role as high post playmaker. Adams' assist rate while on the court was double what it had been in the past, leading to a significant increase in the number of points he contributed. Adams contributes in ways that he can't be quantified by statistics alone. He regularly ranks among the league's top screeners. These sets of screens allow the OKC Thunder to get good looks by forcing the defenders to switch out to a position. Adams is an anchor on defense, meaning the calls out screens and cuts and helps rotate stop drives. On the whole, he just serves as a walking textbook. Number 5. He excels in every aspect of the game. However, he currently leads the NBA in offensive rebounding and the crucial skill of securing additional positions for his team. At first sight, Adam's season figures are more reliable than remarkable. In 26.3 minutes per game for the Grizz, he is averaging 7.8 points, a career-high 10.3 boards, 2.2 assists, and 1.2 blocks. On closer inspection, though, its amazing qualities became clear. He is one of the top offensive rebounders in NBA history, grabbing 19.6% of his team's misses and averaging 4.8 offensive boards per game. And first in the last quarter century, he is on track to set a new NBA record for offensive rebounds in a season, joining an elite group of players. He has a career-high block rate of 4.1% and is one of two players with 10-plus rebounds, one block, two assists a game. The other is Anthony Davis, only Nikola Jokic has a better plus-minus among starting centers, minimum of 25 games. Not persuaded? In addition, while guarding a shooter within six feet of him, he ranks fourth in the NBA behind Ivaka Zubac, Al Harford, and Kristaps Porzingis. This ends our video for today. What do you think about this Kiwi legend? Share with us and subscribe to the channel Completely Sports to see more videos.